Welcome. Thanks for joining me. It is Thursday evening. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm going to try to do this a little bit earlier on Thursdays. Well, as soon as I can because it takes a while for the update to arrive at my destination. However, with that said, did you guys get your your lucid sapphire? Did you get the lucid sapphire? That's all I want to know because and I, I also have a question. Is the lucid sapphire the lucid air? Is it, the, is it one and the same? Because I'm confused. Well, I got my lucid sapphire. What I did to get it was I did the trial. Terribly. I did, um... I did two event labs. And I took one photo. Now, the, the, the event labs this week were brilliant. A lot of fun to do these event labs this week. I enjoyed myself thoroughly. And uh, the trial, yeah, even though I did poorly, I did enough to help my team win. And with that, I got the 10 points and I got myself the Lucid Sapphire. Or is it? Lucid Air Sapphire? No, it's the Lucid Sapphire. So we're gonna get ourselves over here real quick. Cause I was I was hooting around in this uh, in this Porsche today. Let's jump into this Lucid Sapphire. My cars. Now let's go by Lucid, Lucid Air Sapphire. Okay. Let's get into it. Now, truth be told, I've already driven this car. And I did a marathon in this car on a highly skilled. I tend to keep my drive around skill at highly skilled. Just so I'm prepared for the races. When I really want to challenge myself, then I'll, I'll turn it up to unbeatable. But I have plenty of videos on this channel proving my ability to drive against uh, unbeatable avatars. But these days, I, I race mostly against the clock. Now I just try to get these good times with the clock. I mean, this is this is kind of quick. The way it is. I mean, yeah. The brakes are shit. Yeah, the brakes are terrible. That's going to be one of the things we're going to have to improve upon. Okay. Let's run up in here. There aren't too many upgrades that can be done to this car. I'll tell you that right now. There aren't too many. But we're going to do what we can. Uh, does this add? Yes, it does. I'm not going to throw the wing on it. Let's get, let's get some suspension and stuff in here and why aren't the brake why don't I have something for the brakes in here nothing for brakes it's terrible terrible brakes and there's no engine mod also that's it they throw some tires some slicks make them wide make them wide some spacers a bigger wheel in the front, spacers in the rear, let's throw some new wheels, wheels, they gave us a bunch of new wheels last time, uh, I think I'm gonna go with these five pounds right here, and that's about it, so we'll buy that, alright, we go to custom tuning, bring our pressure down to 30 I think 30 pounds per square inch is fine no gearing I mean just final drive it right and just get it up to what's the top speed we can crank out of this thing because I think they like keep going right no, 270 I think is the top end So we 
could just touch 270, maybe. Yep, just touch it. And we'll do the regular suspension things. Uh, Anti-roll bars look fine. We'll tighten the springs up a little bit. I wish there was a way to make these sliders move faster. That is my wish. Slam it. Make sure we get the dampening going. Bump stiffness, I think we'll crank that up to maybe about 9. And in the rear, 9.2. Arrow, we'll give it cornering because what I've noticed is this car is corners horribly. Um, I'm not sure where the balance is in this car, so we'll reserve that. The differential looks fine. Okay, let's see how this is balanced. 50-50, so we could go back, oh, oh, sorry, sorry, here, and we could, we could leave our, our braking force split down the middle and drag this down to 53, well, let's go. go do a quick marathon see how she fares now well actually let's see what my zero is 60 is so. 1.4 seconds he's freaking kidding me. it doesn't feel like it's going fast like it's not sporty at all. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not sporty at all. Let's see if we can hit that 270. I wonder how this car would fare as a off-roader. I tend to lean towards racing cars for everything but four-wheel drive cars and SUVs. Pickup trucks and buggies. I should at some point start to, well, in my own defense, I have tuned um, the Zenvo. That was really bad. That was really bad. Well, so far what I can say is I, I do like it. The pickup isn't like how he does, yes, 0 to 60. Very fast. But the rest of the range is kind of slow but I will tweak it and I'll play with it and in the next video we'll see what it can actually do in its optimum phase but until then thanks for watching